cha boom boom ba cha boom cha boom boom ba cha Now listen up all you big cat lovers with your snacks in your face and your feet under the covers It's time to hear a story so sit your butt down because Derek's gonna walk you all around the compound Yeah Alright We'll start this next one with these little ones with these little, 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 little ones. You think that you're like all, you think that you're cool stuff, huh? You rule, that's a rule of this enclosure? Just because you got them to kind of rearrange all the furniture? That you convinced them to do so? And you're like, yeah, this is where, this is where we hang out now. We are big, we are big tigers. We are big tigers. We are very cool. We are very big, very awesome. We are such, we are such grown-ups. We're such, such grown-ups. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Mm. Oh, you're fine. Biting each other's heads. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cows bells. Cows bells. Cows bells. Look at them. Look at those smush. Look at those smush heads. Oh, my God. Smush heads and mm. neck bites. Fred. You're good babies. You're good babies. Hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Alright. Melita is right there. And she's probably not going to like none of this. <laughs> Hi, Melita. Hi, Mita Pita. Hi, Mita Pita. The least I can do is like take my sunglasses down. I'll take my sunglasses down and I'll show you my eyes. Okay? How about that? How about that? So you can catch me outside. Yeah, you can catch me outside. That's right. You can catch me outside. Melita Pita. There you go. Oh, just get you on Dr. Phil. Get you on Dr. Phil, send you to the ranch. Make a meme out of you. Make a couple weird rap songs. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Maybe this is the secret all along. Maybe she's just like, no, 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 no. The reason that I got mad all of those years was because I just simply hated your face. I hated your face so much. Now, and now, I don't have to look at it. <laughs> oh, Melita, that kind of hurts. Ah, uh, baby, I missed you too. I missed you too. I miss you too, but I can't come over there and give you any sorts of closer lovings, okay? I can't. I can't. We have to be so many, we have to be lots of peats away. I can't remember if it's 13 peats. How many peats? Something like a Dahlia and a Richard Parker's distance, I think. According to Dr. Kel Ebel. Hi. <sighs> you know, parts of it, I guess you could say, like a little kind of weird getting back, a little surreal. Especially considering that it's, you know, things have just been kind of like in an isolated, an isolated kind of state here, certainly. Certainly, but uh, you know, 
It's like riding a bicycle. Once you get back into it, it's just... Oh yeah. This is all the stuff that I've been... These movements and motions and kitty cats that I've grown accustomed to and jobs and stuff like that, that's stuff that just you've been doing for years. So it's not like you get back and back, I don't know. What is your name? Oh, Francine? Francine, that, I believe that's who you are. I remember you well, Francine. We used to put puzzles together. I mean to Peter. She's just like, I don't like the Francine bit. You saw that in her face. She's like, I'm not really sure if I'm particularly fond of the Francine bit. No, sir, I don't like it. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo choo. Choo. Choo choo choo. Choo choo. Hi. <gasps> Ezra. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Hi. Whoa, hello. Oh, blubber. Blubber. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I don't know, because like I was talking about in the last one, I have to, I have to ration, I have to ration the stuff that I film. I have to film a bunch of stuff, and then I gotta ration it. Yeah. Say ration, I don't know, saying ration, just ration, just ration, just, ra just ration it. But, uh, yeah, so there's a part of me that's thinking like, maybe for the time being, and I'm not, here, just because I'm thinking out loud, okay? A lot of this stuff is thinking out loud. Don't don't think that, oh, he talked about it in the cast, therefore, if so facto, that is policy. But I'm thinking that we may go into almost like a variation kind of thing where, you know, you do like one cast. Oh, yeah, by the way, Jeremy's still alive. <laughs> Gah! You know, he actually did get sick. <laughs> he actually did get sick. Now, and I don't think it was a corona. Like, you know, can chickens get corona? Like, have, there's no evidence that was... A, but he just got, like... He just got randomly just, like, chicken... Dis like, chicken sickness, some sort. He got sicknesses... He got a sickness that chickens just get. Which, that's the thing, because he's a farm animal. And, uh... I was like, yeah, Jeremy's not doing so well. He might not make it. <laughs> and I'll say that I, I, I wasn't just like, oh, come on, <laughs> come on, come on, sickness. No, I wasn't rooting for that. But I'm just like, oh, geez, if he actually dies, <laughs> that's going to feel really weird. <laughs> it's going to feel, hey, 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 you. No, but he, uh, he's alive and well. I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking a little bit differently. Maybe, maybe I'm singing. Now that I'm back here, I have to hear his stupid self. Maybe. Oh. Also, yeah. That's, that was New Spoolie. And that's other half of New Spoolie. Come on, quit focusing on the, quit focusing on the chain link. I don't want to get closer to touch. Okay, yeah. Spooly. Spooly. So he destroyed the new spoolie. No one can ever compare. No one can ever compare to the old to the OG spoolie. To the OG spoolie. Nobody can. Nobody can. Nobody put spoolie in a corner. I break you. Ezra is like Goro from uh, from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> just, ri just ripping him in half. Goro wins. <laughs> Ezra, flawless victory. Ezra, 
Ezra versus Shadow Spoolie. <laughs> Guess who I didn't miss? Yeah, didn't miss you one single second. I'm just like, oh my gosh, if any silver if any silver lining can be had. If any silver lining can be had from this whole experience. Like I said, if there's any silver lining to be had that these dumb, gross, stupid, stupid Tiki's that nobody likes unless they're stupid themselves. This is the only thing that was good about having to spend almost two months. It was like two months Tiki free. Two months Tiki free. Almost made the entire thing work. Actually, you know what? I'd, I'd, if you said like, hey, how about another two months? I would be really, it would be, it would be a hard choice. Because that means I'd have to not be able to see my family, wife, you know, all the rest of the cats, like Ezzy and everything. And that would be like really all the babies. Like just, it's, because this is so much, this is so much of like who I am. It's a big part of just my life. Huge part of it. Okay. But I wouldn't have to deal with these two. And I don't know, kind of, kind of, kind of worth it if you ask me. In some ways, I'd have to, I'd have to make a pretty comprehensive kind of pro con list, and it'd be, it would just be, you know, the, the pros and the cons of having to do another two months. So the cons would be like, like hun like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. Like missing all the stuff and then the family and the things and everything. And then the pros would just be, you know, not have to be around these these two dum dums. That's like literally just like a one one thing. But that one thing would put would be would legitimately compete with the hundreds of other things. Would. 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 Yeah, would. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. You would. You're dumb. You're really dumb, and I did not miss you. I did not miss you at all. Did not. I really didn't effing miss him. Okay? We're gonna get. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I mean, yuck. Gross. Blah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you think you are, huh? This isn't your cast. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end this one. I'm going to try to keep them nice and short and sweet again. So I can... My God. Because <laughs> I have to try to be able to film a bunch... But film, I have to film enough stuff that is like robust, yet like relatively like quick and easy to film that I can just crank a, crank a number out. Not so many, shut up, Jeremy! Not so many that it dilutes the product to a crazy degree, but enough that I'm going to be able to have a, a bunch of things in the can. In the can. For however long I'm going to have to be gone this next time. I hate, I hate him. Oh God. You know what? I'm just really starting to rethink. Okay, don't say it. Don't say it. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about this big cat facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. I'll see you folks later. <laughs> oh, he really adds a great, he just adds a fun element to the whole thing. Hey, 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 hello. All right. See you folks later. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat, 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 cat. Oh, there are cats, cats with cute little feet.
stripes, and there are cats, cat, cat, cat. Oh, there are cats with stripes, and there are cats with manes. So let's watch as Derek walks around the common tonight. <laughs>